when I graduate, I'm going to be a history teacher. History teacher. What do you suggest in the high school? Uh, what do you suggest I do in that context to keep yeah. from perpetuating? Well, this? you know, that's really important. I mean, you know, a lot of people, I suspect many of you, if you think of your own experience, I know me, uh, you can remember cases where a teacher really made a terrific impression on you. I mean, most schooling is just train, training for stupidity and conformity. But every once in a while, and that's institutional too, there are reasons for that. But occasionally, you know, you get a spark. Uh, somebody will challenge your mind, you know, make you think, uh, encourage you to think, and so on. And that's a tremendous effect. You know, you just reach all sorts of people. Uh, of course, if you do it, you're going to be, uh, you may very well uh, have problems. Uh, you have to tread a narrow line. Uh, there are plenty of people who don't want students to think. They don't, they're afraid of the crisis of democracy. You know, people start thinking and you get all these problems I was quoting at the beginning. You know, they won't have humility enough to submit to a civil rule, you know. Or they'll start trying to press their demands in the political arena. Or they'll, you know, have ideas of their own instead of believing what they're told. And uh, privilege and power typically doesn't want that. Uh, so they can react. And a high school teacher who tries to get students to think may find uh, repression, uh, firing, and so on.